rest of the department's doing. Let's go find out. <laughs> We've got 10 miles to Montevallo, a full tank of gas, it's sunny, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it! <laughs> we could all be together celebrating the Freddies as we normally do um, all dressed up clearly we did not dress up for this um, so we wanted to celebrate all of the fall seasons and the winter seasons that we got completed and the abbreviated spring seasons that we had um, congratulate swimming on their inaugural year you guys say great and celebrate basically just you guys and everything that we did get to do this year it's a great day to be a Falcon Hit it! <laughs> I would like to start off by saying how incredibly honored and humbled I am to be, to be receiving this award. Never in a million years would I, would I have ever thought that I'd be re receiving any type of award, let alone this one. I want to thank God, for without Him none of this would have been possible. I also want to thank my teammates and coaches, because, well, this is the Spirit Award, and they give me, and they give me something to be, to be spirited by every single day. I absolutely love them all, and I'm so thankful to have them in, in my lives. Um, I want to send my condolences to all those whose seasons got cut off because of the coronavirus. Just know that I and the entire women's basketball team have been praying for you and we're so sorry that you're going through this. We can't even imagine it. Um, so thank you again. I'm so incredibly, incredibly honored and go Falcons! I'm honored to accept the Male Sportsmanship Award. I'd like to thank my parents, Coach Rose, Coach Bush, Coach Jackson, and all the other coaches I've ever had shaping me into the competitor I am today. I'd also like to thank my teammates, and especially the seniors. Thank you all for an awesome four years. Go Falcons. I'm 
very grateful to receive the Sportsmanship Award. It really means a lot to me. I would like to thank my family, teammates and coaches, and most importantly, God. And to all the athletes who had their season cut short because of COVID-19, I'm sorry and I know it's hard, but you will rise above. Hey guys, it's Gonzo. I just wanted to say I'm so thankful to all of my coaches and everybody who gave me a chance to actually try this crazy sport that is running. This journey at Montevallo has been absolutely incredible. I have loved every second of it. And while I do wish things were different and I wish that we were all back at school right now finishing things up, things didn't really go the way we planned. But either way, I'm thankful for my time there as a Falcon and here's to that. everybody, Deshaun, uh, and I'm thankful to receive the um, Neil Shirley Award. Um, it's a blessing. Um, it's come to show that my hard work isn't overlooked, grinding day in and day out. Um, sucks that the season ended the way it ended, but I mean, at least we got uh, another round to go, you know. Um, I mean, I'm blessed. I got a great environment around me, great coaches, great, great teammates. Um, my athletic trainer, Jill, man, I'm blessed to have her also. Um, just everybody that's been in my circle, just keeping me keeping me on my toes. Um, but thank you. Um, I wish I could, <laughs> we could be at the Freddy's right now, me receiving this award, dressed up. It's all right, I like this shirt. <laughs> but um, once again, thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody, I just wanted to say thank you for the Freddy. I never ever expected something like this so just the recognition alone is amazing so thank you very much. I would also like to thank my coaches and my teammates. This season has just been a journey of a lifetime and I couldn't be more happy to have taken that journey with all of you so thank you very much.
What's up Falcons? This is Jake Wyman with the Women's Soccer Program. Uh, just want to thank everyone for our Game of the Year award. Uh, we were so proud to bring a uh, championship back to Montevallo after falling short in 2018. Um, want to thank the Freddy's Committee and Port South for putting on a great show and digging in during um, some some uh, tough, tough virtual times. Um, want to thank my wife for holding me down. Um, shout out to our staff, Amanda Compton, athletic training, keeping us healthy. That was a major part of our success this year. Um, thank you to all the support staff, administration, game day operations, people out there squeegeeing in the field, um, grounds, everybody. Um, thank you to all our fans, our families, our parents, everyone that was uh, supporting us at the games or from home. Um, and the, the biggest shout out goes to the players who won it, who put in time, effort, energy, um, failed, got up, kept going. Um, they, they, they deserve all the credit. Um, and we're so proud to, to bring it home and we can't wait to see everyone back on campus and be training again for the fall 2020 season. Um, keep working hard. Um, keep getting after it. Go Falcons. And I'm here to um, receive the Performance of the Year Award. Um, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to receive it. Um, I mean, all the hard work I put in it just shows. Just it's, everything works out <laughs> eventually. But um, I'm blessed to have the environment around me. My coaches, my my trainer, my um, my teammates for sure. Everybody keep me on my toes. Um, I'm appreciative to, to receive this award for indoor conference. Um, just really ready to get back into it, man. Um, season ended quickly, uh, unexpectedly, but hey, guy has a plan for everything. Just gonna come back next year harder than ever. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank the my Lord above, Jesus Christ, for giving me this opportunity to uh, compete at Montevallo. Um, next, I'd like to thank my family for allowing me to go off to Montevallo to compete and chase my dreams that I've dreamed about since I was a sophomore in high school. Um, lastly, I'd like to thank uh, the coaching staff in track and field uh, for giving me all the tools that I need to succeed and a big shout out to coach billings uh for giving me everything that i needed supporting me and everything that i did um to bring home the university of montevallo uh individual conference championship It is an honor to receive this Newcomer of the Year Award. I would really like to thank my teammates and coaches for all of their support and belief in me. I'm so proud of how far we got this season and I'm really looking forward to next season. 
I'd also like to thank our AD, Mr. Mark Richards, for all of his enthusiasm and energy he had every time we saw him. And I'd also like to thank the Montevallo community as a whole for making my freshman year really enjoyable. It's been a great experience. And above all, I'd like to thank God for the gifts he's given me to glorify him. So thank you again and go Falcons. Hey everyone, uh, what an honor it is to be named most influential student athlete at Montevallo. Uh, to name a few who deserve to be recognized, we have Maureen Wood for keeping me in top shape all year, Coach Doyle for bringing the juice every day, and for Coach Lang uh, who taught me how to work hard but how to properly do so. Uh, but I believe the biggest shout out to be the other student athletes at Montevallo and my teammates. Um, you know, we have women's soccer who won their conference under a new head coach. Uh, we have both basketball teams, uh, you know, the inaugural swimming team. Uh, and I know I'm going to leave some teams out here. But, you know, I'm truly inspired by the hard work that everyone else puts in. Um, so then when I get the opportunity to uh, compete, you know, I like to reciprocate that. Um, so thank you. Uh, you know, for, I'll gladly accept this reward. You know, it's truly an honor. But I get my inspiration from the rest of you guys. So I, it's truly an honor to be named Most Influential. It is my honor to accept the Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. I would first like to thank the good Lord for blessing me, my family and friends for support, my teammates and coaching staff for all their help throughout the, throughout the way. I couldn't have done it without y'all. Thank you. Hey everybody, Charles here. I'm very excited to have been awarded the Male Scholar Athlete of the Year. Uh, I have a lot of people to thank, uh, my teammates, my coaches. Um, there's a lot of people that went into my success on and off the golf course at Montevallo. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe during this time. Uh, thank you very much. Hello Falcons, this is Mark Richard, Director of Athletics. I want to take a moment to thank the many people who helped us out throughout the year and to recognize some outstanding achievement by our student athletes. First of all, I think it's time to reflect back and congratulate once again our GSC champions for the past year. Jake Wyman, the women's soccer team, for winning the GSC championship in Pensacola. I was watching from behind the net when Tyler Ring scored an amazing goal to send the team to their first championship in 12 years. At the GSC Indoor Track and Field Championships, freshman Kayla Long won the Indoor Heptathlon and Deshaun Morgan took home the gold in the indoor long jump and triple jump and became the first track and field student athlete to qualify for the NCAA National Indoor Championship. There were many more outstanding efforts, record breakers, and all-conference selection, making it a great year for our fall and our winter sports. There's some people I'd like to thank for their dedication and commitment to Montevallo Athletics. First, our athletic trainers led by Marcella Galafasi, who are there every step of the way, making sure our student athletes are healthy and ready for competition. Thank you, Marcello, Maureen, Jill, Amanda, and Caitlin for a job well done. To our grounds crew, Dusty Roper and Chance Sugg, who make our outdoor facilities look the best in the GSC. Thank you. All of our head coaches and assistant coaches who put in numerous hours managing their teams and the student athletes. Thank you for your outstanding effort and commitment. Our administrative team of Don Makovsky, Eric Moss, Ed Langham, Barbara Holcomb, Jasmine Thomas, and Jordan Brooks. Thank you for everything you do. This department cannot get by without you. I'd also like to thank our Student Athlete Advisory Committee. I'm not sure if you saw the press release, but after two years of raising money, we were able to name a well that would bring clean water to a village in Africa. The well was dedicated to A.J. Luke, a men's basketball student athlete who passed away in November of 2017. Thank you, Will, for your leadership as SAC president over the past two years. Not only will your leadership be missed, but your smile and your sense of humor. Last, I'd like to thank Port South Productions for putting the Freddy's video together. I know it was a lot of work. Thank you, Ariel Butler, Maureen Wood, 
Jessica Ormrod, and Trey Gregory. You guys have done an awesome job. Two teams I'd like to recognize for outstanding effort. First, I'd like to recognize head coach Aaron Mahaney and assistant coach Hannah Wakeley and the men's and women's swim team for an outstanding first year of existence. If you walk to the back of the sack, it's a whole new ball game. No longer was just their idle water, they turned the pool into an active part of the sack by their many hours of practice. The first home meet was an event I will never forget. Congratulations to our women's basketball team for a great season. Their first winning season in seven years and the fourth winning season in the past 24 years. With a great group of student athletes returning, we are hoping to start a streak of winning season that lasts a long time. Congratulations to all the Freddie winners for outstanding athletic and academic achievements. This has been a difficult time for our seniors and spring sports student athletes. I feel for you and I hope you lean on your coaches, your teammates, and fellow student athletes for support. We are all in this together. We're not sure what the fall will look like, but we're moving forward with plans to start the semester on time. Let's hope the plan of action works. For our seniors who are moving on to the next chapter, thank you for the impact you made on UM Athletics. I think senior lacrosse student athlete Maggie Johnson said it best in an interview with the Gulf South Conference this week. Maggie said, as a student athlete, you're always being watched while at school, at practice, and especially on social media. As an upperclassman, you're becoming a role model for younger student athletes because they watch you and see how you carry yourself and treat others. It prepares you for the real world. Prepared not to just get by, but to be an impact on people's lives. Thank you, Maggie. Well said. For the seniors, thank you for making an impact on, on the athletics. For our returners, keep working hard. There will be competition and you need to be ready. Take care, be safe, and remember, it's a great day to be a Falcon.